Hey guys, I got a new toy I figured I'd share with y'all. It's a new Colt Night Cobra. Ever since the new uh, Cobras came out, I've been wanting to get one. So just kind of waiting for the price to come down a little bit. So this one is the uh, made specifically for concealed carry. Bobbed hammer that is double action only. Even if you cock it back, it's not going to stay. It's going to fire. Tritium night sight, just a regular rear gutter, some G10 grips, and it uh, has a beautiful double action trigger pull. It is so smooth. I'm not sure what the weight on it is, but it's not so much the weight as how smooth it is that makes it good trigger. And that is excellent. Uh, I like this grip really well too. It feels good. It feels the hand really good. It just feels right. I've always been a fan of a older Colt snub nose revolvers, and this is kind of like the modern take on the really the detective special. They call it the Cobra, but the old Cobra was an alloy frame where this is all this is a stainless frame. So really, to me, it's more of a modern version of this, which is the Colt detective special, all steel frame, beautiful old school Colt bluing. I mean, it's just so pretty. I hate touching and getting fingerprints on it. It's double or single action. And it's got a decent trigger pull, but it's just not as good as this one. This thing, absolutely smooth. So nice. Along with that, I've got a Colt Agent, which is an alloy frame super light it's double and single and it's got a trigger pull oh pretty much about like the detective special it's good but it's not it's not this that joker's smooth the only downside of this pistol is it's pretty heavy I'm not sure the overall way you can look it up somewhere on the manufacturer site um, it's a heavy pistol so you'd have to take that in consideration if you hold this up next to a J frame Smith & Wesson or, or even compare it against the Colt agent there's a definite difference in weight um, the one advantage of that is of course all steel frame pistol handles recoil really well um, I've only got 100 rounds through this so far shoots really good I really like it uh, hits a little bit left of center for the impact on me but it's close enough at social work range so yeah I just thought I'd show you guys it's stainless steel pistol and just has this cold coating on it to keep it even more durable so let's go shoot a little more what do you think all right we're here with the Colt Night Cobra seven yards let's see how she shoots Not too bad, not too bad. All right, we're back here at uh, 15 yards. Let's see how she does. too bad not too bad so my final thoughts on the uh, Colt Night Cobra like I said ever since 
it first came out, I knew I was going to get one just because I collect Colt revolvers, especially the snub nose versions. And it was just only a matter of time before I got it. Um, I love shooting it. It's fun as can be. It's got such a sweet trigger. But how viable is a carry option? Well, the only downside this has is weight. Because for this weight, you can probably carry a SIG P365 or maybe even a Glock 26. But something with 9mm that holds more rounds. So this definitely wouldn't be my first choice of a carry pistol. Just due to its weight. I like the 38 Special just fine, but... If I was going to carry a small frame revolver, just due to size and weight constraints, I would probably get an alloy framed Smith & Wesson J frame. But, I do love this revolver. I do like shooting it. I picked it up pretty inexpensive. I, I got it last week from Tombstone Tactical in somewhere in Arizona. But it was shipped to my FFL dealer for $548. So for $550, I had to pull the trigger on it just because I knew I was going to get one anyway. Just because, you know, it's a cold snubby and I had to have it. So, all right, those are my thoughts. Thank you.